Hi guys, so for today's video, gagawan ko na review ang 98% Tomato Glass Skin Sun Gel. So, kung gusto nyo malaman yung mga nasa loob ng product na to, please keep on watching. So guys, papakita ko muna yung formula nyo sa inyo. So, gel type siya. So, ito yung itsura niya. And boom, absorb agad siya ng skin. So, ipapakita ko kung bakit siya easily absorb by skin. Kung anong ingredient yung may ganung effect. So, to start with, kailangan alam nyo kung ano yung skin type nyo. So, if hindi nyo pa alam, pwede kayong pumunta sa tryinteract.com para malaman kung anong skin type nyo. So, it is very important na alam nyo yung skin type nyo para alam nyo yung mga products na suitable for you. So, gumamit ako ng website na nag-a-analyze ng ingredients. So, ginamit ko is insidecoder.com which you could use para malaman nga yung mga ingredients by taking a photo ng ingredients sa likod. Ang ginamit ko is copy-paste ng ingredients na kinopya ko sa uh, online store website. So, yan. And the result is on the next page. So, sabi sa Insight Coder, meron siyang anti-acne, which is the niacinamide, antioxidant, the tomato fruit extra, olive fruit e extra oil, camellia sinensis leaf extract, tocopheryl acetate, and ano pa ba, licorice root extract, and yung mga zooding ingredients like alantuin, pantanol. So, makikita nyo rin yan dun sa website. And it is important to take note yung sunscreen formula nyo na homosalitic oxide at titanium dioxide na ingredients ng physical sunscreen. So, ano nga ba yung physical sunscreen? There are two types of sunscreen, which one is physical and chemical. So, usually, ang ginagamit and recommended for oily skin is physical sunscreen. So, since zinc oxide and titanium dioxide siya, it is a uh, this product is a physical sunscreen, meaning so this product is for oily skin talaga. And let's proceed. Since meron nga siyang anti-acne, anti-inflammatory because nang meron siyang niacinamide inside, it reduces sebum production and barrier boosting din siya and increases elasticity of the skin. So, so mga ingredients niya, ang um, favorite ko is the niacinamide kasi nga may madaming benefits ng niacinamide. And let's go to the other results. So ito yung other ingredients niya. Kung mapapansin niyo, everything is well formulated, maganda yung ingredients niya and hindi ko hindi mo siya may expect sa uh, budget friendly ng sun na sun sun gel. Kasi ang dami niyang Zooding ingredients plus my niacinamide and all. Pero based on sa insidecoder.com, nakakuha yung fragrance ito. Nakakuha yung fragrance ng EQ rating. So usually makikita nyo sa mga ingredients analyzer na bad rating, bad for the skin ang fragrance. So, I'll discuss it later kung bakit siya bad. So, ito yung result niya. Sa website, makikita nyo rin kung goodie siya, superstar is the highest rating. Then, goodie. So, madami siyang goodie ingredients. Except for the fragrance. Ito, ito pa yung other ingredients niya. Superstar yung camellia sinensis lip extract, antioxidant chapel zooding, and also the licorice root extract, which is superstar. So, meron siyang three superstar ingredients based on insidecoder.com. So, today, I explain ko kung bakit uh, hindi, hindi para sa lahat yung fragrance. Uh, fragrance yung ing na ingredient as an ingredient. So, since sabi ko nga kanina na sensitive skin ako, usually, ang recommended na, nga, na mga skin products is fragrance-free. So, sabi dito sa Inside Coder, if your skin is sensitive, fragrance is again not your best friend. It is the number one cause of contact allergy to cosmetics. It's definitely a smart thing to avoid with sensitive skin. So, 
this past few months, this quarantine, uh, may mga YouTubers akong nakita sa YouTube na more on skin more on skin care yung kanilang mga products. So, this quarantine ko rin nalaman na sensitive skin din pala ko. And ito yung mga YouTubers na nag-influence sa akin to go for fragrance-free for fragrance-free na ingredients which is John Angelo and si Hiram which is very popular. So, since nga na meron siyang meron siyang fragrance and the uh, formula, hindi ko siya nistop ko na siyang gamitin simula nung nakinig na ako sa mga advice ni Hiram and ni Channel Jodo Filipino YouTuber din and as you can see sa ingredients list niya uh, yung fragrance nasa taas siya ibig sabihin high content siya ng fragrance so usually yung mga hindi sensitive skin acceptable pa na pwede siyang nasa dulo ng ingredients list kasi naka-order to sa amount ng concentration niya so as you can see yung ingredients niya yung fragrance is medyo nasa taas which is very bad ibig sabihin mal- malaki yung percentage niya compare sa ibang ingredients so that is why tinigil ko to 98% black skin and inapply ko lang sa hands since mas safe dito sa hands kong lalagay. So, binigay ko na siya sa kapatid ko and naghanap na ako ng kapalit na sunblock. So, ang ginagamit ko ngayon is yung Bellory Friendly. Pero, gagawan ko siya ng review next time in another video. Pero, if you wanna know more kung bakit bad yung fragrance and mas detailed na explanation kung bakit bad yung fragrance sa uh, skincare natin you could watch this videos from Hiram and John Angelo and na-explain nila dito mabuti kung bakit talaga bawal ang fragrance sa skincare usually sa sensitive skin pero si Hiram may na-advise na avoid at all cost yung fragrance So, I'll see you guys next time for my quick review about the product and bye! Thank you for watching!